What's up guys and welcome back to another video right onto my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna basically tell you how to improve your FPS or boost your FPS in Total War Warhammer 3. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you'll probably know how to increase your FPS. Before we start right into the video, I just want to you guys know, let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right onto my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Uh, especially subscribing would be a big support for me. I mean, it's free for you guys and um, you're gonna w support my work here in YouTube, my journey here in YouTube. I'm gonna thank you for that right now and I would just say, let's get started. So uh, in order to increase your FPS in Total War, Warhammer 3, uh, the first step is gonna be to open up your files and clicking onto this PC. Where I want you to right click this PC and go to properties. Once this window pops up, you're gonna go to the uh, right hand side and click right onto advanced system settings. And once this window pops up, you're gonna go to the third one where it says advanced and you're gonna go to settings on performance. Once you're here, you're gonna obviously adjust for best performance, apply and hit OK. Once you finish, you're gonna close every single task. task. Next step is gonna be to go to the bottom left corner of your screen and opening up your settings. So once you're at your settings, uh, I want you to click on system and stick right to display. So once you're at your, your display, I want you to identify which your main monitor is. So obviously this just happens or applies if you have more than one. Once you identify it, you can scroll down and go to scale and layout. We want you to change the size of text apps and other items to 100% as recommended. Afterwards, going down to your display resolution and change it to the in-game resolution. So if you have in-game, for example, 1720 by 1070, I want you to apply it also for your display resolution. Once you did that, I want you to click on notifications and actions. So um, once you're at notifications and actions, I want you to turn it off. So uh, there, these are two reasons for that. So first of all, it's really annoying that uh, so enormous uh, notifications are popping up in a bottom right corner of your screen, you need to tab out, swipe it away, it's really annoying. And um, secondly, of course, your PC needs to render it. And we want to reduce every single rendering process on our PC in order to increase our FPS, so turn this obviously on off. Uh, next step is gonna be to go to the fifth one where it says power and sleep. So on screen and sleep, we can't really do anything besides going to the right hand side and clicking onto additional power settings. Once we are here, you're gonna uh, go right to the symbol right here, you're gonna click it and uh, I want you to click on high performance. Um, so I need to mention on this point that high performance could lead to overheating, could lead to getting your PC too loud and if you can't compensate that or help you anymore, you need obviously to go back to balance. But I recommend you guys to try it out and keep it on how to high performance because this will help you a lot with your FPS. And, uh, once you're finished here, you can close this one and go to storage, so the sixth one right here. And I want you to go to the blueprinted one where it says configured storage sensor, run it now. And what I want you to do is basically copy my settings and I'm gonna explain you why. So if you, you have obviously applications, uh, games, you have uh, whatever programs on your PC and those will accumulate uh, temporary files over the time and this will cover up a lot of storage on your PC and uh, impacting your performance. So if you don't blow these temporary files out once in a while this will impact your performance heavily and this will this settings will help you with that so once you copy the settings I want you to click on clean now and wait a few seconds until it's cleaned up so uh, once you finish here you can go back twice going back to your main settings and clicking onto gaming once we are at the gaming I want you to stick right to Xbox game bar and um, once you edit the Xbox game bar, I want you to obviously turn it off, especially in low-end PCs, this will basically impact your performance really heavily. Uh, yeah, increasing the, the percentage of FPS drops, frame drops, stuttering, whatever. I don't want you to have that, so you're gonna basically turn this off. Next step is gonna be to click onto captures and uh, go to background recording, as well as going to record in the background while I'm playing a game and turn this obviously on off. Especially if you have this on on without noticing in it, you will record every single game for at least two hours and this will impact your performance heavily, especially on bad PCs. So guys, if you want to record something, you're probably not gonna use Windows for that. So either way, you're gonna turn this one off and come back once in a while to check if this really is turned off. So next step is gonna be to click on the game mode. And I need to mention right here, I can't really say turn it on, turn it off. Uh, you need to check for your system specifically. So um, if you have AMD, per perhaps you can turn it off. And if you have Nvidia, you can turn it on, but you need to check, turn it on, turn it off, look what is working better and keep it on that. 
Once you finished here, I want you to go back and click on update and security. Uh, stick right to Windows Update. I mean, guys, it's gonna sound a little bit basic, but trust me, it will help you a lot with uh, performance. I want you to uh, download the latest version of Windows in order to provide the best possible performance for your PC, uh, coming along with uh, special upgrade updates, whatever. So you're gonna download the latest version, and once you did that, you can close this tab. So the same thing I want you to do for your graphics card. You have AMD, you have Nvidia, doesn't really matter. I want you to download the latest version of your graphics card in order to provide the best possible performance for your PC. This will increase your FPS heavily. Just trust me, guys. Last step is going to be to open up your task manager by using the shortcut or going down to your taskbar, right clicking it and opening it up. So once you're here, I want you to click on CPU, so right here, and end every single, ta single task which is having too much CPU usage right on your processes. The same thing is for GPU, click on that and end every single task which is having too much uh, GPU usage. Yeah guys, that's it for the video. I hope I could actually help you out with this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm gonna thank you for that. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one. Bye.